Thank you for coming back to We The People News. Please subscribe, leave your thumbs up, and please leave your comments. First of all, I want to say thank you so much for all the support that you give me on this channel. I really do appreciate you allowing me to do this. Thank you so much. Yesterday's video, if you did not see it, please go back and watch it. I will link it to the end of this video. Uh, there's a lot of good stuff on there I don't want you to miss, and it would help me out on YouTube. Thank you so much. Okay, today we're going to be talking about stimulus checks. I know a lot of people saying, don't even talk about stimulus checks. Well, if you don't want me to talk about stimulus checks, don't come to this channel. Because when there's something to be said about it, I will say it. But first, you know, yesterday I talked about free speech and Elon Musk. Somebody commented that we have never lost our freedom of speech. Hmm. Well, that part is true. We still have freedom of speech in theory. But we can still say exactly what we want to say. But there's always consequences with what you say. We have to be very, very careful not to say anything that the other side will take offense to, what the other side won't agree with. Because if we do, they will try their very best to destroy you in every way they can. We see this every day, and it's more apparent right here on social media and on YouTube. People will destroy you at every chance they have. So you see, we really don't have freedom of speech. Okay. I don't, I know I'm going to butcher this name and I'm sorry, but there's a lady that commented. I think it's a lady. I'm not even sure what this name is. Uh, Gerline, Gerline Sailor. I'm sorry I messed that name up. Why, she said, why does Congress keep changing the dates on the stimulus checks? Well, I'm sorry, but you must be getting your information from the liars on YouTube because there is no stimulus check right now to change the date on. There's nothing to change the date on. They have not seriously talked about stimulus checks in a long time. Here's the thing on stimulus checks. Have you ever in your lifetime seen the island of misfit toys up there in Washington, D.C. do anything to make the American people's life any better? I haven't. If you're waiting on your life to be better by something that these people in Washington does, you're going to be waiting a long time because they're not going to make your life better. That's up to you to make it better. Yes, it would help if they would give you some stimulus money, but so far that hadn't happened, has it? Y'all, we can't wait for Washington to grow a brain and help the American people because let's face it, between all of them up there in Washington, the land of misfit toys, every one of them put together does not equal one full brain. Just look at the student loans and the stimulus checks. How long has it been since they promised us these things? And we hadn't got it yet. It's always one excuse after the other. We need to get past this and forget about our present government. Y'all, all they're doing is playing mind games with us. They lie to us every day. And yet we're holding out hope that they're going to give us some money. Y'all, we can't keep waiting for them to bail us out. We have to do something to bail ourselves out. 
because we know our present government is too busy bailing out other countries to be worried about you and me. The bottom line on student loan forgiveness and stimulus checks right now, nobody in Washington is fighting hard for these things. There are proposals on the table for stimulus checks. There's a lot of them on the table for stimulus checks, but they're not discussing them. Like I've said many times, a, a proposal is worthless. All it is is a piece of paper with an idea on it. A proposal is just like a petition. It's only as good as the person it's going to. And well, we know our government don't give a damn about us. Will we ever see student loan forgiveness? I really don't think we will. And y'all know how I felt about student loan forgiveness. So I won't get into that. But the thing is, Joe Biden promised this all throughout his campaign. Now he damn well needs to deliver on it. I'm not for student forgiveness, student loan forgiveness. But since he promised it, he needs to deliver on it. Will we ever see a fourth stimulus check? Not in the near future. But I do believe we will see one. But it's going to be closer to the midterm elections. They're going to try to play this to get some votes. Y'all, this the stimulus, this four stimulus check, if it happens near near the midterms. It's going to be small. It's not going to be a $2,000 stimulus check. I imagine it may be around $500. And $500 right now to a lot of people is like gold. I mean, $500 could do a lot right now. So why make the people wait until closer to midterms? There's only going to be a handful of people that's going to get this check. And that's the very low income, Social Security, SSI, VA, that type of people. So it won't be across the board flood of money like it was before. It's going to be a very select group of people that gets this. And I hope they do get it. But right now, there is no serious talk about it. No matter what you see from other channels, there is no stim stimulus talk that's being seriously looked at right now. Okay, I've got some very good news for y'all, too. After Joe Biden and his administration caused all the higher prices with oil and gas, Joe Biden and his administration has now decided they have all agreed to renew the oil company's leases to drill on federal-owned land. This alone will bring the oil prices down bigly. Y'all remember who said bigly? But let's not forget that the Biden administration is at fault for bringing these prices up in the first place. It may take a bit to get these, bit of time to get these uh, oil pumps pumping. It may take a month, maybe two months. But this will bring the prices down. I mean, we need some relief at the pump badly. So this will be a welcome change. Thank you all so much for your support on this channel. I really do appreciate you for that. Please comment below. The oil companies can start drilling on federal land as soon as this week. This is very good news. We may have a chance to become oil and gas independent again. You know, the way Trump left us and Biden effed it up. Now, don't fall in love with Biden because he is fixing what he effed up. He's not doing nothing great. He's just fixing what he messed up. And he made the American people suffer with inflated gas prices at the pump. Now, 
if all of this plays out the way it looks like it's going to with the gas prices set to go down at the pumps just as soon as they start drilling and producing oil drilling is not the only thing they got to do they got to produce millions of barrels of oil but with the prices set to go down if this all plays out this will not only bring gas prices down, this should bring down prices on everything. Food, uh, everything that you need. Uh, because everything depends on gasoline to get to the store, so you can buy it. So when they, ha when they have to pay more for gasoline for their trucks to deliver their products, well, they're going to just pass that on to you. So this should bring the prices down on everything. Y'all, I just wanted y'all to know this because I do see brighter days coming. I've told y'all that for a while now. And now this backs up what I've been saying. Y'all, thank you all so much for all the support that you give me on this channel. I really do appreciate it. Please sound off in the comment. Get it off your chest. It will make you feel better, whatever it is you're feeling. And y'all, please don't forget the midterms. And don't go falling in love with Biden just because he's letting them drill on federal land. He's the one that caused all of this in the first place. I love you all. Until later on today, I'll have another video coming for you. I love you all. Keep your faith in Jesus Christ. He will get us through all of this. Say a prayer for our world. Say a prayer for our country. Say a prayer for those people up in the land of the misfit toys. Washington DC say a prayer for everyone around the world that's hurting through COVID financial hardship or any other affliction and just know I love you all ciao